Young. And we are reporting for In the Dog House. This week, we're bringing you a special feature on Breast Cancer Awareness Month called Think Pink. Here are a few facts about breast cancer. From DoSomething.org. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. Every year, 220,000 women will be diagnosed in the U.S. and 40,000 will die. The United States has the largest group of breast cancer survivors, 2.9 million. Breast cancer can affect anyone at any time. Ms. Amy Wilburn, our media specialist and librarian, is one of the millions that have been affected. So we decided to ask her a few questions. Ms. Amy, how have you been personally affected by breast cancer? Four years ago in October, we found out that my mother had been diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. So even though I had been, had friends and you've always heard about having um, breast cancer, being aware of breast cancer and all things like that, when it really touches your family, it puts a whole new perspective on it. Thank you for your time, Miss Amy. Coming up Saturday, October 24th, is the Susan G. Coleman Race for a Cure in Tupelo, Mississippi. The Race for the Cure is a 5K pink out race. All the proceeds from registration go to breast cancer research. We actually have a student from New Albany High School that runs in the race every single year. Her name is Megan Van and she's a senior. So Megan, when is the deadline to sign up for the race and how much is it? The deadline is October 16th and it's $25. Megan, why do you run the Race for the Cure every year? My grandmother passed away from cancer, so now I like to give money back to try to find the cure. Are you excited about running the Race for the Cure this year? Yeah! Yeah! There are several other events that students can participate in if they want to go all out and support such a special cause. There's a giant event to bring awareness to breast cancer at our very own high school. It's the Pink Out game this Friday night. Different groups are sporting pink in unique ways to bring awareness to breast cancer. The football team is wearing pink gloves and pink socks. The cheerleaders are wearing pink bows. The band is sporting pink hats and carrying pink drums. And of course, the fans are going all out. The FRA is going all out too, like always. So we decided to track them down and interview a few of the members. What's the theme for this Friday night's game? In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we're all wearing pink and going out there and supporting our dogs. Are y'all excited for this night's game? Excited. Boy, I Kitchens Field, be there and be square. Woo! Woo! Two five, two five. This has been Katie Davis and Natalie Young reporting for NA News. Over and out.